Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, this time we're in Lillooet, British Columbia. So 144 version of ProMods Canada is out and here we are. So also there's a new highway in it, the uh, Trans-Canada Highway. Highway number one between Cache Creek and Hope is has been added and we're going to take that route. We're going to go from Lillooet down to Everett, Washington with a uh, cat compactor here weighing in at 121,000. So uh, yeah, let's hop in the old, uh, this is the hater built version of the Viper 389, newly released as well. And thanks to Kenny B for pointing that out to me. And uh, yeah, let's uh, jump in and spark it up and see what this new road's like. Yeah, it was raining on the way over here. The wipers are already going. So this is to Western Metal Recycling in Everett. Brakes are all off. Beacons on. there on that gravel. Um, now we've got pink is uh, COSAT uh, articulated. Uh, it's got a rear steer COSAT on here, which is pretty cool. So we'll see that come into action right away here as we try to get out a little bit. There's uh, some pretty handy hairpin turns up here. Skateboarding in the rain. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Let's we'll see how handy this thing is around this hairpin here. See how much that rear end is steering. Pretty nuts. Should be pretty good around here. It's fine, it sounds like church bells in the background, but it's Wednesday at 8 in the morning. Oh, that's not After church bells. 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Well, you don't want to get too far to the right here. That Torero will actually steer itself right out into that concrete barrier. It looks like it's doing just fine. Okay, I wonder which way we're gonna go here. After 100 right. yards, turn right. Alrighty. Well, that was that scenic turn little right. river there. I kind of missed it. hope he was going to turn right. Look at this intersection dry out just like that. Wow. Get the wipers turned off. Yeah, if, um, I can't, uh, you know, I just, you know, can't um, tell you how much I enjoy this ProMods Canada and the scenery and variety. It's just amazing. You do a pretty good job. There's a lot to it. It's uh, not just all this out in the Thules thing. There's Vancouver, Horseshoe Bay as well. The uh, dock facility. Um, uh, like the shipping uh, port, like a port facility, it's pretty neat. Uh oh. Come on, 
here. Ha <laughs> ha. It's making me stop. Come on. I'd uh, like to see somebody do that in a real truck. <laughs> Sit there and do that with the clutch to uh, get the load moving. Man. Beat your head out against the ceiling of the truck or drop the clutch and tranny on the ground underneath it. But got to do what we got to do to get things going sometimes in this game. Well, we certainly aren't on the Trans-Canada Highway yet. I will see where they tie it in here. Lytton, oh, there's that poor town that Got blown away by fire, I guess it was last year, just utterly destroyed in forest fire. They were going to include it in the in the map, the, late, the last version of the map, but after it got uh, wiped out, they thought, man, we can't, you know, it just isn't right. And, uh, yeah, poor folks. That came through quick. I get you know, the forest fires. This, just in case you didn't know, this area of inner interior BC is very dry. It's uh, they have lots of problems with forest fires, and uh, it gets really hot, and really dry. It's got its own little cl climate, unlike I mean, you think in Canada. Oh yeah, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, but this is just an uh, insanely hot at times in here in the interior of BC. And they had a bad time with forest fires last year. Welcome to Lytton. Lytton? They put Lytton on the map. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. There's an LTL 9000 behind us. After 100 yards, turn right. They put Lytton on the map. Wow. Another clutch. Must be where we join the Trans Canada. Imagine we're going to turn right. And I'll wait for our fearless leader to speak up here. Oh, there's a sign. Hope to 
the right. Why she just wasn't going to say anything. Oh, Grumpy Duck would have been bellowing in our ear. Keep right. Another one coming behind him. What's he going to do? Okay. Don't worry, Mr. Nice Guy. Let's get going. Does that sound thing ever happen to you guys? Or is that just something wrong with my sound card? Right. Every now and then it seems he gets overwhelmed and just can't produce the sound. Maybe I need to do a driver update for the sound on this thing or something. Well, it still doesn't look like the Trans-Canada Highway. Let's look for uh, route markers. It says number one, it's Trans-Canada. Boston Bar. When I was in IT, I, uh, I did the, uh, well, that's a long story, I did a whole lot of railway stuff. Boston Bar was one of the sites. Tunnels, RCMP, <laughs> side of the road. I wonder what they're doing there. Why am I not getting it here? Wow, I'd like to be out looking around here. See what's going on down there. Ah, very cool. It's been a long time since I've been on this highway in real life. I think, um, let me think. Oh, went to the Abbotsford Air Show. No, took the Coquihalla Highway on that one. Boy, it would be a long time ago. It's scary. I'm not going to say. <laughs> no, there's nice view out there. There's an all too often occurrence out here. A landslide. That's the thing about traveling in BC is, uh, you know, don't be in a hurry. You get you gotta be somewhere in an absolute hurry. You gotta, you gotta really hope that there's no road closures, accidents, things like that, because there's not a lot of uh, alternate routes that aren't really long. But 
used to drive uh, in coming to BC, the one thing you couldn't do that you could do on the prairie provinces was you couldn't uh, get around the scales. <laughs> you were stuck because you know there are all these highways or uh, mountain uh, valleys. Okay, number one to the left. Yes, hope. Okay, so we just hit the Trans Canada. You ever saw that Sylvester Stallone movie? His first big hit, I guess. I don't know. Um, first Blood. Right. After 15 yards, go straight. That's where it was filmed here in Hope, BC. Go straight. That first time I came through here um, Keep was right. After 50 yards, turn right. was with my uh, oldest brother in his 37 Dodge half ton um, hot rod truck. And yeah, we were young and having an adventure to see in BC for the first time. Neither of us had ever been out here. And uh, yeah, it's a good, sweet little truck, uh, 327 four speed and this is a long time ago <laughs> it was uh, it was something else it's good uh, it's a good little truck it was a real it, it uh, moved right along to the prairie and you come into this for the first time in the mountains, it's pretty staggering. So this um, is all just, this is from the uh, previous version. Canada Highway heading towards Vancouver. You have to kind of ignore that parameter on the dash of this truck left of the uh, tack. So here I'll burp the throttle. The parameter doesn't do that. That sweep, that big movement, they move really slowly and they're measuring the exhaust gas temperature. And that one's working like it's measuring manifold pressure or boost. But, oh well, can't have everything. John Rudis trucks. Uh, yards, exit right ahead. John Rudis. Uh, exit right ahead. W900 and his uh, 362 have uh, parameters that work properly. After 
hundred yards, turn left. I don't think it's 389, even the update has a barometer, I think it just has a boost gauge. Or turn left. maybe it's just manifold pressure as opposed to boost, I'm not sure. Can't remember. Uh, coming up to our border crossing to get into the U.S. Go straight. GTX. So this, uh, this trailer is a good one to take through the border here, I think, because it's pretty maneuverable. And this is the one I think it is with the... Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. A couple of tight exits, or corners. Turn right. You got the right trailer. Yeah, this uh, exit here, I think there's, uh, looking at the map there, there's a few good wiggles in it. Go straight. Get ourselves cleared the exit here. This is their, I don't know, alien detection thing. they got to say. Yeah, come through this one on the right here because we've got to go through that barn up ahead. You can see beyond the CB mic cord there. we got to get through that. So what I'll probably do try and come into it with a bit of a curve going so the rear end of the... Oh! Wow, what happened there? Oh, you know what? The barrier came down on us. The barrier came down. Oh, that's a glitch in this game. That uh, happens when you're crossing the border into Mexico, too. So what we got to do, we got to just fly the vehicle ahead that little wee bit. So we'll just go ahead about, let's go about this far. See if we can move. Yeah. That's pretty annoying, eh? Yeah, it's long trailers. These uh, border crossings can be a real pain in the neck. Another good reason to get the dev console set up on your game. If you get yourself out of trouble like that. Turn left. This trailer should continue to turn. That back end should steer us right through there. Turn left. Very nice. All right.
can't go We've got a barrier there to keep us from going too far around here but I would say that's a nice little firebird another Pontiac behind it but we're gonna have to turn now there was that volume again or the yeah look at that trailer what a beauty All right, we're in the good old U.S. of A. Now, uh, we're in miles an hour again. Even though I'm Canadian, I still think in miles an hour. I, uh, you know, my summer car is a 62 Cadillac, and it's in miles an hour. And I'm happy. 100 yards, turn left. I'm happy to see that on my gauge. I, uh, I built a lot of stuff too. I built stuff in inches. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, and if it's precision stuff and I'm working on my lathe, it's thousands of an inch. It's not millimeters. I just can't go there. Too old, I guess. Turn left. Yeah, I gotta admit, I haven't come through here in an awful long time without the Bellingham Heights map improvement mod. And they don't have that running right now. Um, I should have. Uh, so, what I have in here for map mods is Pro Mods Canada, uh, Voice Oregon, Washington, and Utah expansions. And of course, we haven't tried the Oregon one yet. That's brand new. And I got his Great America in this profile. So, yeah, this looks so different to me because it is. Because I haven't uh, been on it so long. After 100 yards, turn right. This is, uh, should be Bellingham when we turn left here. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Hmm. Yeah, that's... If you have the, uh, Bellingham map... I'm surprised it didn't give us the uh, we discovered a new road thingy. Unless we've already done it on this map. I'll have to look at my map and see if we got the dotted line going there. If we get a uh, 
traffic light up here, I'll uh, check the map. Because as soon as you head down this road in the opposite direction we're on, about where that car is up ahead, uh, you get the little ding ding, you've discovered a you know, a new road or whatever. playing with his life there. We're gonna have to go left up here so I'll get over here. That's direction Keep we're going. Left. Yeah. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Okay, we'll check the map right here and see if we'd already discovered that road. That was the shortcut up the backside of Bellingham Mountain map. It's over here. Huh, it doesn't show it. So here's, yeah, there's the mountain. And the back road goes off of here, and it's not on here, and it didn't give us, I guess because we're going the wrong direction. If we had been going the other direction, it would have pointed it out for us. Because in another video I did, we, we discovered that, and uh, heading the other direction. We put the dotted line, and we were heading up with... Uh, I think that's where we went up and got that, uh, I just took the truck up and we got a log loader on a SES triple low boy. I took it down the mountain. That was the one. Better jump in here so we can see in our mirror. Challenger. Oh, let's hope we don't get pulled in here. Hey. Okay. Get the hammer down over finishing this thing in the dark. Give us an idea how the, uh, uh, what the lights are like on this truck. the whole time lately with the uh, long weekend and doing stuff around the yard and the house. I got a little bit of work done on the caddy. Um, I'm almost done taking things apart. I'm almost at the point where I'll start putting it back together. I, uh, next up is getting the oil pan off and a uh, bunch of stuff cleaned up there and then Try to reseal that pan and then start putting things back together. Get the new flywheel in it. And uh, my modified uh, drive shaft. Yeah, we'll be good. That backlight on that CV looks terrible in the dark. I'm going to uh, have to try a different CV. Exit right ahead. What's going on here? Light. I should try and go over to that 
that right lane. Ah, uh, the, the bridge is all turned around for a boat. Let's see if we can jump out and get a look at it. Oh, it's coming back, so I guess the boat's done gone through. Where is it? Oh, it's down there already, moving away, those white lights. I'm glad we cut the tail end of it. They were almost there. Lights look pretty good on this truck. Point right in the middle of a bridge? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That can't be what that was for. Maybe that's it over there in the left. Oh, yeah, there's the movie camera over there somewhere. Shows on the map on the left. High beams. That'll swast. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. All right. Oh, that was an interesting trip. That was really uh, I enjoyed that. That road up there, the Trans Canada, yeah, getting onto the Trans Canada was really cool. Should be able to sneak in here. There we go. All right, what do they got in store? Over on the left side of the scale house. So, I would imagine this whole thing's going to just follow us right in here. Disappointed if it didn't. That thing turned, eh? Wow, crazy. I'll try and get this parking. Uh, not sure. I should take a quick look. Make sure I'm not going to make a mistake. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if I need to stay left a little longer. Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up because this is a trailer you can't really recover from a messed up parking situation with. Yeah. Darn it all. We didn't get enough of the stinger in there, I don't think. It's not straight enough for this pernickety game. Wow. And uh, we won't be able to back it up very far at all. It'll start turning. There's nothing we can do about that. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Well, let's try. Catch this. And that gets sideways. Yeah. You if we were on dirt, we could have uh, forced it to keep going, but darn it all. What a rotten way to end the trip. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Let's uh, take the easy way out. We have to abuse the truck one more time to get that option to come up. That's too bad. the option. At least you got a pounce on it when you get it. I don't think these lights are really optimized for 144. Well, I'll tell you what guys, I'm going to, well, let's see, let's try it one more time. Try and get that option thing to light up for us. 
a dozen and I'll just end the trip and I'll mess around with it on my own time instead of wasting yours. Oh, that sound thing is terrible. There it is. Oh, it's a shame. Well, we're on time. Sixteen thousand nine hundred thirty-eight gallons. That seems pretty economical to me. Hmm. Big load, big engine, lots of hills. So uh, anyway, thanks for following along, guys. And as always, I really appreciate your subscriptions. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, we'll uh, carry on. I guess we'll kind of do some more in BC here, see what else is needed to discover here. Anyway, take care and catch you on the next one. Bye for now.